Vera here in upstate New York. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a ghost I have in my East Village store. But don't worry, she's friendly. When I was 18 years old, I was living in the East Village. I had just started Veramit, my accessories brand. Nylon Magazine featured me as a new designer, so I actually got some online orders and I was trying to fill those one night. It was about midnight, cause I'm a night owl, and I was just kind of fussing around my studio. But then all of a sudden, I felt like someone was calling me from outside. It honestly felt like I had a rope around my waist and I was just being pulled outside. So I left my apartment Apartment and I just started walking. I actually then knew I had to cross the street and when I got to 315 East, I knew I was in the right spot and I looked through the window and there was this beautiful woman dressed in a flapper dress glowing from the inside and she said, you should open a store here. I thought she had such a warm, kind energy and I asked her who she was and she said that she used to live in the building and she was getting away from a fire and she was trying to jump to the next building, but she ended up falling between the buildings. So she lived in that alley, but she was actually really happy. I ended up calling the number on the door and I got the store. A couple weeks later, I got my first intern. I was so excited until I went and got our lunch. Then when I came back to the store, my intern was ashen. Her entire face was just so pale. And she looked at me and she said, you know how the water has been turning off and on in the bathroom? I looked back to see what it was. And there was a woman standing there turning the water on. And she was glowing and she kind of looked like some flapper or something. She had this little dress on. When the store closed and my intern left, I told this tour ghost to not scare anyone, not only in the store, but in the bathroom or in front of the store or in the alley. After I almost forgot about her because she was being so good, I hadn't seen her at all, she pulled me harder than she had pulled me to that point. She told me to go outside, turn left, down four buildings, and look three flights up. And there was a window that was slightly ajar, and she said that there's a fire in there. I decided to just look like an idiot and call the police when there was clearly no fire in this apartment. When the firemen came, they asked me where the fire was and I pointed this window and I said, just take the ladder up. I'm sure there is a fire. I saw smoke. So they take the fire ladder up, the guy looks into the window and the second he looks in, the entire wall comes ablaze. So I was so excited to be able to tell this ghost that she helped other people not die in a fire like she had. And a lot of the neighbors came by for months after this and they said, thank you. And they brought little gifts. And I told the ghost, thank you for saving these people and for protecting the neighborhood. And I told her she was our ghostly savior.